The Beast Incarnate is back. Hello my friends, welcome to the Wicked Bitter channel. I'm Travis, thanks for checking out this video. If you haven't subscribed yet and wrestling content is your type of deal, this is the page for you. This is the channel for you. Why don't you go ahead? It's real easy, it's really simple, and it's best part, it's free. Just why don't you hit subscribe right there. Give this video a like, leave a comment. It does wonders for this channel, it does wonders for this video, and honestly, it does me a huge favor. It makes this channel get bigger and recognized a little more, which is huge. That's a big deal. It's very hard to get that go uh, going and ha hard to get that done, so by you guys doing that, it really helps me out, and I really, really, really appreciate it. Let's get into a little bit of news here for WWE. It's not going to be a long video. Brock Lesnar, apparently, is back. Kind of. He is on, or he has been re-added to the roster page of WWE. So this sparks some questions. Will Brock Lesnar be around? Is he going to do have a role here? Is he going to be back on TV? Is he going to have a match at WrestleMania? Uh, my guess, my guess is probably not. Um, I still don't think until all of this clears up and goes away, the whole lawsuit with Vince McMahon, and even after it's done, I still don't think I really see Brock Lesnar in the picture, um, at least for a while. I think it's going to be a good bit. And then, you know, by the time WWE decides that maybe they want to bring Brock back or they reach out to him, maybe by that time, Brock Lesnar himself really has let this shit pass. And he's just like, you know what? I don't really feel like doing it. So, I don't know. I, I think odds are we're not going to see Brock Lesnar again. Uh, I definitely don't think we're going to see him at WrestleMania. Now that things have kind of, I guess, sort of worked out on its own here, um, I think a lot of people thought Brock Lesnar would be facing Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania, but now we have that gauntlet match on Monday Night Raw, and that, that's to determine who will face uh, Gunther one-on-one. -on -one. So um, I don't see Brock doing that. Brock will not be facing... Uh, Cody Rhodes, it'll be Roman Reigns. Brock won't be facing Roman. Brock won't be facing Seth. Brock's not going to be facing the U.S. champion. Uh, as far as just having a non-title match against somebody, I guess it might be a possibility, maybe, but I really doubt it. I think it's highly unlikely. I think Brock has just is going to be slowly added into the mix of maybe like, yeah, they put him on the roster page here. Um, they might... Um, acknowledge or recognize some of his uh, you know accomplishments or, or records if, if someone comes up towards one um, I think he'll be mentioned here and there I don't think they're gonna Chris Benoit him I don't think they're gonna erase him from history um, but right now I think WWE is still taking a very cautious approach I think they're tiptoeing around the whole thing but doing the small things to add him in here and there or re-add him back to things um yeah, I mean, I, I saw a lot of people posting about the video game 2K24, you know, asking if he's going to be in it. You know, cause so far right now, if you play video games, he's in a specific game mode. Uh, he's in the showcase mode, but he's not unlocked for the actual uh, in-game play where you can use him for everything or anything. So uh, people are asking if he will be. Uh, that I could maybe see, maybe, I think that is more likely that he gets added into the base game where you can play them, play him in every single mode. I think that's more likely than him actually showing up on WWE TV going forward, at least for a little bit. So maybe within the next patch or two, or, you know, when things calm down a little bit on the, on the lawsuit, or if it gets solved, or I, I would keep an eye out. You might see Brock. I think people have found ways to work around it on the video game to get him in there. Uh, so I, I, I'm going to check that out because I think that's pretty cool. I like having Brock in the game. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to check out and see how that goes. And speaking of the game, if you have, if you follow me on Twitter, I know a lot of you people who, uh, have recently subscribed to this channel on YouTube subscribed because of the giveaway I mentioned on X or on Twitter. And if you haven't followed me on, on Twitter or X yet, you definitely should. It's Wicked Bitter on X and Twitter. I will be doing these giveaways here and there once in a while. I would, I'm would i going to be upfront and honest with you guys. It's not going to be all the time, at least not yet. Um, but I wanted to do something to try to give back to everybody who has kind of supported this channel so far. Um you know, I know a lot of YouTubers out there kind of just, they do their thing and they get all this following and then they don't really give back. 
I'm somebody who would like to give back. I'm somebody who would like to, uh, you know, I've if you've, if you've been on this channel with me so far, you know that I like to keep it very interactive. I like to talk to you. I like to answer uh, comments and emails and all that kind of stuff. It's a two-way street with me. Uh, so uh, I know there's a lot of YouTubers who don't do, don't do that. But for this, for me, for this channel, we do that here. And I think the only way that I could actually show my appreciation for all the support you've given me is to sometimes give something back to you guys, uh, you know, do a, uh, entries to give away, like for instance, I'm giving away two copies of 2k 24. Um, and I will be announcing the winners of that early next week or this week, I guess Monday or Tuesday around that time frame. So keep an eye on that for that on Twitter. I will announce it. Um, and I will, I will email or I will DM you on Twitter. So keep those DMS open and I will probably tag you. I'll reach out to you. I'll find a way to get in touch with you if you have been chosen as the winner. I only said I'd give away two, but that post blew up. There is a lot of people. Uh, so, and I wasn't expecting that. I mean, the amount of people who interacted and and you know went through with that. There should be more than two given away, but I can. I'm only going to do two right now. Um, maybe in the future, I can give away more. And uh, it won't be just the video game. It'll be other random stuff, too. So, uh, yeah, enough about that. I really appreciate you. And, and I, I hope after this giveaway is done that you guys stay on X with me, uh, following me on X. And I hope that you stay subscribed to this channel because this channel is only scratching the surface. We, I have plans for this channel. I want it to get bigger and better. And in order for that to happen, I'm going to need all the support from you. So I definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so let's get into something else here. The Rock segment with Cody Rhodes, the way it ended. I wasn't a fan of it going off air. I guess they maybe ran out of time, but they went over time um, where Cody slapped The Rock. And I guess what was supposed to happen was there was supposed to be a brawl. I know a lot of people on a side note here are kind of going after Roman Reigns about his comment on Seth Rollins about the whole cross-dresser thing. Uh, to me, honestly, I'm one of these people. It doesn't... It's, it doesn't bother me, you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest about it, you know, it's, it wasn't something that offended me, I know a lot of, we live in a day and age where a lot of people get offended pretty quickly about basically everything or anything, so for me, it's wrestling, it's, it's shit talk, it's just the way things go here, it's, uh, you know, people have made fun of or picked on Rollins before saying that he dresses like his wife or he's in his wife's clothes, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, whatever doesn't, doesn't, whatever does, does. I'm not going to judge or get mad at anybody if you get offended or if you don't like it or you do like it. It's it's whatever. It's just open range here. But uh, yeah, so people are trying to cancel Roman Reigns. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Roman Reigns uh, will be teaming up with The Rock on night one against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. That answer has officially been submitted by Seth Rollins himself. So yeah, we're going to get that tag match night one. Um, things are starting to look a little more clearer for WrestleMania. And, uh, so that tag match though, if rock and Roman win, it's bloodline rules at, for night two during Cody and Seth and Roman Reigns' match. But if Cody and Seth Rollins wins, all the bloodline is banned. Very, 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 very interesting circumstances here because, it could go either way, honestly. WWE could really go either way with this. They could have Cody and Seth win, where Bloodline is banned, and then you still get that uh, that 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 person in a hoodie who interferes in the match. I'm only saying that because that's what I would see. It would, could either be Tamatanga, like we've talked about before, or if we want to go Seth Rollins turning heel, it could be Seth in the hoodie. Everybody thinks, oh, here comes a Bloodline member in a hoodie. They're supposed to be banned. He attacks Cody, takes off the hood. It's, it's Seth. That'd be a huge deal. Um, I think the only way that really works is if Seth, if, is if Seth loses his World Heavyweight Championship to Drew um, the night before. Uh, I don't see I don't see Seth retaining the w, the World Heavyweight Championship and then turning on Cody unless Cody loses to Roman Reigns. I don't know. It's just tricky. It's tricky. They could go either way here. Cody Seth could win the World Heavyweight Championship. Roman could beat Cody, and then Cody will stay on Raw and feud with Rollins, a heel Rollins. That could be their big top draw, he, he, uh, Cody versus Seth, you know, good guy versus bad guy. Or 
we can have Cody win. Uh, it's 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 up in the air. People think The Rock might turn on Roman. I thought that. I still do because this whole throwing up the L and taking it down kind of thing is really really strange to me. I don't know what's up with that. And The Rock so easily just acknowledging Roman Reigns, giving dapping him up, hugging him. Something is odd there for me. Something is fishy. If The Rock is supposed to be everyone's bosses, I don't think he's going to be bowing down to anybody. Or, you know, uh, taking, you know, second fiddle to, to Roman Reigns. That's an, I don't think that's going to happen. I truly believe that The Rock will turn on Roman Reigns. Um, but but what if they do a double turn? What if they do Rock turns on Roman, but Cody turns on, or, or Seth turns on Cody, and that's what makes Roman Reigns win? I'm not sure. There's ways to go about this. It's very interesting still to me. Um, other stuff I want to talk about real quick. Uh, Naomi and Bianca's backstage segment on SmackDown I found a little interesting where Naomi was pretty much sympathizing and felt a little bad for Bailey but Bianca kind of like came off where like she don't care <laughs> like that kind of struck me a little bit are they are they slowly transitioning Bianca into more of like a heel type of role I don't know it's that that part to me is interesting too um I don't know I do want to see where Jade Cargill is going to fit in all of this because I believe Jade should have a match at WrestleMania. I just don't know against who. We can maybe do Jade versus Naomi, Jade versus Bianca, even though I feel like Tiffany Stratton should go against Bianca. I feel like that's a big match right there. And Jade will have to face maybe Naomi or Jade will face Nia Jax or Liv Morgan. There's options here. We could do something with Jade. I feel like they should do something with Jade. Um, very deserving of a spot. And I know people are going to argue with me about that, but listen, I don't care that Jade has only had one match. I don't care in WWE. I don't care if she showed up in the rumble and look, she's never going to be an in-ring technician like Natalia or work like, uh, Becky or you, whoever your favorite or Oscar, whoever your favorite female wrestler is with their in-ring skill. I don't think Jade is ever going to be that. I feel like we should drop that expectation Jade doesn't need that to be a big star. We've seen other big stars in WWE before who are not, you know, amazing technicians or all-star talent in the ring as far as in-ring skill goes. Sometimes it's the look, the personality, the charisma that takes over and really makes somebody even bigger than what they would be if they didn't have that. Because you can say that about several people. You take away their charisma and you keep their in-ring skill and they wouldn't be as big of a star as they ended up being. So, um I think Jade is going to be one of the top stars in this company for a very long time, and I feel like what we saw in AEW is nothing compared at all to what she's going to be capable of doing here in WWE, because WWE knows how to book people, long-term uh, long storytelling, um, the, and their marketing is unmatched, and production level. WWE is untouchable right now. Um, I hate to say that, because... I, I don't hate to say that. I, I shouldn't have said that. I... I because I've always loved WWE, I grew up being a WWE fan. The reason why I turned to AEW was because it was during a time where uh, WWE was very stale and I was not feeling it, and I wanted an alternative. You know, it was the same people all the time in WWE, and and uh, so I switched over to AEW, and it was new, fresh, and exciting, and it was doing things that WWE were were against for so long. So, but now WWE has been on fire ever since the Bloodline storyline for me that turned me into. Uh, as passionate for WWE as I ever used to be. So, anyway, interesting things going on here in WWE. We're still going to be on the lookout. We're still going to do reviews and recaps every week. I'm going to get more videos out there more often. I'm starting to finally settle in a little bit here in my new place. Uh, still a lot to do here, so the videos have been kind of coming out here and there. I'm going to plan on doing more as as often as I can, and and you know it will pick up again. Uh, but right now, I wanted to get this video out there so, so I can talk to you guys and appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, and thank you for all the support. Honestly, we're very close to a thousand subscribers here. I wanted to get it done before the year is over. I hope we can do that. <laughs> we got only, what, like 20 left to get before we get to 1,000, and we're only in March. So very likely, if everybody sticks around from Twitter and everywhere else that we've gotten the subs from, we can get there. We can get there, which means this page and channel would be huge, and it will be ready and rolling from here until however far we all take this thing so yes i appreciate all of you if you haven't liked and subscribed yet i ask that you please do i will talk to you guys on the next video and until then have a great monday
if this is Monday for you, whatever day you're watching this, have a great day, have a great week, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Until then, stay bitter.